All right. So everybody can see me. So what we're going to do, of course, is talk about our our devices, okay? To maintain our balance. Now, for our discussion yesterday, our clutches, the three-point gate, the three-point gate has this um, non-weight or the only one which is considered as non-weight bearing joint. No, sorry, non-weight bearing crutches, okay? Or gate. Now, we have two-point gate, three-point gate, four-point gate, swing to and swing through. Let me just get this first. Okay, where should we go? So, oh, you're not. I'm going to start with two point gate. So we have two point gate. We have three point gate. We have four point gate. We have swing. and we have swing through okay so I'm going to start with this <laughs> you can see it two point gate and three point gate I'm going to start with two point gate so in two point gate or crutches clutch walking keep this in mind that in our clutch walking there is what we call calibration here that you need to check your height. Okay, so you can you can adjust your crutch or crutches using your height. So my height is five seven, <laughs> five seven without heels. With heels, it depends. <laughs> what happened? All right. So, like I said, we can check or we can vary. We can uh, adjust these crutches using this height. Okay. So I just I adjust this uh, with the use of five seven. So my height is five seven. Same thing here. I'm going to adjust this to five seven. All right. There we go. This one. So, as I told you, as I told you yesterday, make sure that your arms is strong enough because we will be needing these arms and then we will be needing our hands to put all our weight on our hands. Okay? We're not going to put our weight in our axilla. This is wrong. Okay, do not put your weight in the axilla because if you're going to put your weight in the axilla area, there will be what we call compression of brachial nerve. So brachial palsy will occur. Aside from that term, they are using another term, crutch, crutch palsy. So your crutches, right? So there will be palsy. So brachial nerve palsy or crutch palsy, all right? Now, we already adjust the height of our crutches. It pertains to my height. If I'm going to do this, I want to make sure, all right, that I'm on my tripod position. When you say tripod position, your body is standing erect, your two crutches, all right? And of course, six inches away from your toes. And you're putting your weight again, you put your weight again in your hands, not on the axilla, because there will be brachial palsy or crutch palsy. Now, let's start with your two-point gate. Two-point gate. I'm going to start here. For two-point, you may write it down or follow the picture, but you can write it down. 
first thing to do, right crotch. Yeah, sorry. We are two point gaze. I'm thinking about four. So two point gaze. Your right crotch and the opposite leg. Again, two point gaze. Right crotch and the opposite leg. So that's considered as one. Followed by left crotch and right leg. Again, two point gaze. One. So right crotch and the opposite leg. Two, left crotch and the opposite leg. Two point gaze. Right crotch, left leg. Left crotch, right leg. Right crotch, left leg. Left crotch, right leg. Two point gaze. Right crotch and left leg. Left crotch and right leg. Right crotch and left leg. Left crotch and right leg. Two point gaze. One, two, one, two, one, two. All right. Now, in some books, they are saying that. Uh, they are starting using the right crotch. Okay, some books they are starting right crotch. In some books they are starting using the left crotch. It doesn't matter where you started. Okay, it doesn't matter matter where you started. So if this is left crotch, which leg should be moved with the left crotch? If this is two point gaze, so <clears throat> you're going to move all right the opposite leg. Left crotch, opposite leg. Right crotch. Opposite leg. Left crotch, opposite leg. All right, so that's how it goes. So, two point gaze for the last time. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Two, <laughs> two point gaze. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, and two. All right. Next, let's go to three point gate. Now we will be dealing with our three point gate, three point gate. For our discussion, the three point gate is the only gate walking without any weight bearing. All right. The only gate walking. It doesn't have any weight bearing. Now, you don't have weight bearing on the affected leg. Let's let's put this left leg to have a concern. Or our left leg or my left leg is the affected leg. Okay, my left leg is the affected leg. So, three point gait. The affected leg at this time is my left leg. Okay, so three point gait. If I'm going to move forward by two clutches, that is considered as two. Two, all right? This is my affected leg. Two clutches and my affected leg. Two, three, two, three, two, three. You've noticed my affected leg. I'm not touching the, the floor. It's hanging. Because it's non weight bearing gait. Okay? So, again, your two crutches moving forward. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. So, two crutches followed by good leg. Two crutches followed by good leg. Two crutches followed by good leg. <clears throat> That's your three point gait. <sighs> three point gait. So, next we have four point gait. <laughs> okay, four point gait. So, the four point gait is uh, you're going to use your, your crutches, you're going to use your legs. So, you're going to move. All right. So, one at a time. 
We're going to move one at a time. So we have this right crotch, one, right crotch, one, followed by left leg, two, followed by left crotch, three, followed by right leg, four. Again, four point gain. Right crotch, left leg, left crotch, right leg. Again, four point gain. Right crotch, one, left leg, two, left crotch, three, right leg, four. All right? So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right crotch, left leg, left crotch, right leg, right crotch, left leg, left crotch, right leg. So, <laughs> so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Got it? Hey. <laughs> All right. So, two point gate. Going to start again. Two point gait. Two point gait. Right crotch and opposite leg. One. Followed by left crotch and the opposite leg. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Two point gait. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Three point gait. Three point gait. Affected leg is my left leg, right? Not touching the surface. So, two crotches, two, three, two, three, two, three. Three point gain, two, three, two, three, two, three. Four point gain, four point gain. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. Four point gate. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. So we have the my, my cameraman is adjusting the camera. Okay, so we have two point gate. We have three point gate. We have four point gate. Okay, so we have two point gate, three point, three point gate. We have four point gate. All right, because we need to remember the only one that is non weight bearing is a three point gate. All right, now. Using crutches when we go up on the stairs and going down on the stairs, going up and down. Keep this in mind. Wherever is your affected leg is, wherever is your affected leg is, your crutches must be there. Again, wherever your affected leg is, your crutches must be there. All right. That's the main reason why we have these crutches for our affected leg. Now, going up on the stairs, you're going to use your good leg. First, going down in the uh, stairways, going down, you use your bad leg first. All right? But like I said, wherever the bad leg is, your crutches must be there. So if you're going down on the stairs, your crutches and bad leg must be there or must come first, okay? Now let's try. Make sure you get closer to your stairs. Make sure you get closer to the stairs, all right? The first thing that I'm going to do is going up on the stairs. If I'm going up on the stairs, going up on the stairs, I'm going to step my good leg. This is my good leg, my right leg. My bad leg is my left leg, okay? 
Now, I'm going up on the stairs, up with a good, up with a good leg. I push my body, follow my, so push my body, follow at the fourth, I'm going to move forward with mm. two crutches, followed by that leg. Okay? Good leg, followed by crutches and bad leg. Good leg, followed by crutches and bad leg. All right? If I'm going down on the stairs, if I'm going down on the stairs, going down, remember, bad leg first when you are going down. So when you go down with your crutches, down with your crutches, down with your crutches and bad leg, followed by good leg. Bad leg and crutches, followed by good leg. Bad leg and crutches, followed by good leg. All right, one more time. After this, I'll be needing Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> All right, so if I'm going up on the stairs, going up on the stairs, up with a good leg, up with a good leg first. Go up with a good leg, followed by crutches and bad leg. Up with a good leg first, bad leg and crutches. Up with a good leg, bad leg and crutches. If I'm going down the stairs, down with a bad leg first, wherever your crutches or wherever your bad leg is, your crutches must be there. So, Going down the stairs, bad leg and crutches. Going down the stairs, bad leg and crutches. Going down, bad leg and crutches. All right? So, your three two point gate, your three point gate, your four point gate, and going up on the stairs and going down on the stairs helps the patient to maintain the balance, right? Of course, to prevent injury. If there's a caregiver and nurse who will be assisting the patient, much better, okay? Now, the last two, the swing to and swing through. Swing to, I don't know if you could see it clearer. Swing to and the other one is through, all right? <clears throat> If this is swing two, swing two. We don't have presentation anymore, right? Only camera. So. Your strategy. I, I know, but you can advise at this time. Yeah. Yeah. So, you move forward your two crutches. This is swing two, swing two. You move forward your two crutches and swing your body. Swing your body inside these two crutches. All right, so two crutches, you move your two crutches, then swing your body. That is swing two. When you say swing through, swing through, harder. All right, swing through, and the base of one. Swing through. So you have your, your swing to and you have your swing through. Okay? <clears throat> so your weight bearing, your weight bearing gate are your two, right? Two point gate, four point gate, swing to, swing through. Those are your weight bearing gate. The non weight bearing gate is only the three point gate. The non weight bearing gate is the three point gate because you are not putting weight on your affected leg. All right. Uh, next. <sighs> it's hard to earn money. <laughs> All right, this is my crutches, my crutch, okay? It serves as my cane, it serves as my cane. If the patient has left-sided weakness, if the patient has left-sided weakness, okay? 
If they are weak on the left side, they are stronger on the right side. Put, put the crutch on the stronger side. Okay? So this is the area you can put this crutch. So the patient will be able to have weakness right side. So the patient will be able to put weight on the stronger side and they can walk. Okay? Now, if they are using one crutch, okay, wherever is the stronger side, that's where you're going to place your crutch. Wherever is the stronger side, that's where you're going to put or place your crutch or crutches. Okay? Now, if I'm going to walk with one with one crutch, if my affected leg is on the left side, my crutch should be on the opposite side. So I will not put any weight on my affected leg. With the use of your cane, with the use of your cane, same thing, same concept, okay? If my left side is affected, I'm going to put my cane on the right side. Wherever is my stronger side, that's where I'm going, I'm going to put my cane, all right? If I'm going to stand up because I have left-sided problem, my cane would be on the right side. It gives support, all right? It gives support, all right? So if I'm going to use my cane, same as my single crotch, so cane, opposite affected leg. Like C O L. Remember yesterday, C O L. K, opposite, affected leg. So K, opposite, affected leg. So K, opposite, affected leg. All right? This is how to use a cane. Always remember to put your cane on the stronger side. Wherever the stronger side is, you put your cane on that area. Next. With the use of your front wheel walker, all right? Front wheel walker. The patient, the patient will be standing in the middle. The patient will be standing in the middle of this front wheel walker. So the patient will be standing in the middle a big front wheel walker, all right? If the patient is walking, if the patient is walking, so the patient will not pull, the patient will not pull the walker. The patient must push the walker and then walk. Push the walker and then walk. Again, the patient should be standing right in the middle of this walker. The patient will be putting weight again on their hands. All right? The patient will be pushing the walker, then walk. Push the walker and then walk. Push and then walk. All right? Now, Nurses, while the patient is doing this, you as a patient, you as a nurse, you're going to stand here alongside. So the patient, the patient will be standing here, and you are alongside of the patient. You're not behind the patient, but you are alongside. So if the patient is walking, you maintain safety, and at the same time, you maintain psychosocial. Okay? So do not stand behind the patient while the patient is walking. You are holding the back of the patient, especially they have this what we call a uh, belt, all right? The safety belt. So if they're going to use this walker, if they're going to stand up, they are sitting down, okay? And they're going to stand up. If they're going to stand up, they're not going to use the walker in order for them to stand up. No, that's a big no-no, all right? It's dangerous, right? Safety issue, we're not going to do this. And there's no force. What we're going to do, we ask the patient to 
push up, to push up the chair. Push up the chair. Stand up, hold the walker, push the walker, then walk. Push the walker and then walk. In your select all the applied question. I'm showing this to you so that you have visual intention or you can use your imagination. If they are sitting down in the chair, do not use the walker in order for them to stand up. Use the arm chair and then push off the chair. Stand erect, hold the walker, push the walker, and then walk. Nurses, where are you going to stand? Alongside, alongside. You maintain safety at the same time. <laughs> you are maintaining, of course, psychosocial aspect, the communication with a patient, all right? So that's how to use your walker. If the patient has CVA and left sided weakness and, and the patient needs to use the walker, you stand up wherever is the weak side is. If the patient has weakness on one side, you stand up wherever the weak side is. All right? So keep this in mind that we have a two point gate, the two point gate. We have three point gate, the three point gate. We have the four point gate. We have the swing two and we have swing through all right and we have crutches walking up on the stairs <clears throat> up with a good leg first and going down on the stairs going down with a bad leg first wherever your bad leg is your crutches must be there all right i hope you can go over with that again you can go <clears throat> over with whatever you wrote the picture or the PowerPoint that we have. And of course, remember the discussions and of course, your imaginations, all right? And of course, it's part of your uh, video online, is it? Okay, so it's part of the video according to my floor director, okay? <laughs> all right, so next thing that we're, do you have any question? No question for now? Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do, what time is it? 10, 10. Let me just give you a 10 minutes break, all right? I can drink water. Right? <laughs> so let me just give you a 10 minutes break. And when we come back, I'm going to talk about those strategies, okay? And taking the end questions. 